Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video, which is going to be a small shop haul. Now, the majority of what I have to share with you are diamond painting related items, which are here. And then in one of my recent videos, I asked if you guys would be interested in seeing other things that I pick up from small shops and the general consensus was yes. So I have a couple of other random items that I thought I would share with you guys. Now I'm going to leave these until the end. So if you don't want to see what else I got, you can just click out of the video and you'll get your diamond painting content first. So let's start with diamond painting items. Now, a lot of these have been sitting here for quite a while. There are actually two packages that I have been in. You can see <laughs> one of them here. Um, a few things that I had wanted to use during projects in March and I just hadn't gotten around to filming a small shop haul. I try to have a little bit of a a good array of items before I share them in a video. So yeah, I used a couple of things and we'll talk about that as I get to it. So I think the first thing I'm going to go through are these three packages here. Now these are all packages from Excuse Me Designs, which is a small shop that does um, one of my favorite putties. So diamond painting wax alternatives. I am a big fan of using putty in my multi-placer and I discovered Excuse Me Designs maybe like six or seven months ago at this point and they have become one of my favorites. So this package here I have already been in because I wanted to use this particular putty during the month of March. So it's funny because I saw that they had some new scents out and I was like, I have packages that I need to get into. <laughs> so I should do that before I go ordering anything. So we have one of these little squishies. I think this one is a unicorn. I just stockpile these. And when my nieces come for a sleepover, I'm like, here you go. <laughs> so they cleared me out the last time they were here. So I can, I can start a new stash. All right. So from this order, the first one, and this is the one that I actually used. This is in the scent Clover. Obviously, I wanted a St. Patrick's Day uh, scent. So I used this one on my current project, um, along with a pen I'm going to show you in a couple of minutes. And then we have Blue Icy, Blue Icy, or Blue Slushy. I guess Icy is the brand, right? I so remember walking to the corner market at um, where I grew up and we would go get ices. I totally remember that. So this was just like pure nostalgia for me. Smells very nice. And this one is Viva La Juicy. Yeah, that smells like it. <laughs> My best friend when we were younger, her like body spray of choice was Viva La Juicy. So I distinctly remember that scent. These are both in the 2.0 version. Okay, so then I have these two packages and I don't recall needing to have two more packages. I know that I should have one of them, but I feel like the other may be a mistake. And I actually emailed the owner when I got two separate shipping notifications. And I was like, hey, I don't think I should have two shipping notifications, but I never heard anything back from them. So um, I actually don't know if I paid twice. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Um, so we will figure that out together. So I had signed up for the Excuse Me Designs monthly sampler set, but I believe that they have since discontinued that. I remember receiving an email saying that my subscription had been canceled, that they wouldn't be offering it anymore. So I don't really know what's going on. I'm gonna check both of these packing slips off camera just so you know what I'm getting myself into. Yeah, see, I think I've had two of them. And I don't think I'm supposed to have two. Monthly. See, it says one is an order date of February 14th and the other is February 20th, but I know I didn't order two. I'm gonna have to do some research on that. So let's take a look here. Candyland sample sizes. Yeah, and they're the exact same thing. Interesting. Uh, I'll be right back. All right, so I have the shop app on my iPad. 
and where do I see my okay so I have my sampler It's so strange to me. I don't understand. Hmm. I didn't order two. And I also never heard back from the email that I sent, which isn't... Um, my favorite thing. <laughs> I sent an email and got no response. So I guess what we're going to do is I, I think I'm going to save these. I guess I'll save a pack for I'm so confused. Sorry, guys. <laughs> My brain is like not understanding what happened. I don't I have been signed up for the monthly subscription where it comes like out of your like every month it just comes, but I didn't order whatever. You guys don't care. Um, what we're going to do is uh, we are going to use a mystery word <laughs> at the end of this video. Um, I'm going to think of a word and I'm going to do like a random generator thing and we'll figure out who's going to get this extra pack because I don't need two of the same exact scents. Just bear in mind that these are the sample sizes, so they're not like the super full ones. Um, I'll open mine. Actually, let me give you guys the one with the nice sticker. I'll take the one with the... So these are just the sample ones. So just a small amount. Ooh, pink sugar smells really good. So if you're interested, I will think of a word. <laughs> I feel very discombobulated right now. I'm like, what is happening? So give me a few minutes to like clear my brain, come up with a word, and we will revisit this topic. <laughs> okay, let's talk about something else. So I have some pens from Peachy Keen, which is one of my favorite pen shops. And I really wanted to use one of them during the month of March. During the month of March. <laughs> and... So I, I dug into the package a little bit early, but that's okay. I'm sure you guys don't mind. We have a little goodie bag here. This is how long I've had this. It's a Valentine's Day themed goodie bag. We have some tips. Oh, look, I think they got a new, I think they got a new business card. Ah, I lost my magnet. Uh, hope you're doing great. Love your videos. Thank you for your support, Allison. Thank you, Allison. This is so cute, the new business card. And look at this little cover minder. So cute. Like I said, we have multi-placers and single placers. We have a little candy bracelet and some stickers. <laughs> That's cute. Ooh, I love the diamond. Okay, so this is the pen that I used. This is, I believe it was called something patty so it was like you know st patrick's day themed i just thought the green glitter was really pretty i loved the way it was turned um so this is the one that i used you can see i changed for a one of the diamond art club steel tips but i loved this pen so comfortable to work with really really loved that one this one i have not looked at yet i went in and i was like okay Keep the other one a surprise <laughs> for both you and everyone watching. So let's get into this one. Ugh. Oh my goodness. This is so cute. Look at the little seashell glitters. I saw this pen and I was like, yep. And I really wanted to use it on that Hannah Lynn with the little otter. I thought the colors would be perfect, but I didn't get around to that kit this month. In fact, I think I'm only going to finish two kits this month, which is very unlike me, but it's okay. It's been a busy month. If you watched my um, Monday's video, then you are probably up to date on my life this past week. So 
I just didn't have much diamond painting time, but how pretty is that? I love this. I'll definitely find a kit this summer to work with this pen. Super, super cute. Love Peachy Keen pens, and the owners are very, very nice. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, they're a husband and wife team. I believe the wife handles, like, the blanks, and then her husband does uh, the turning. So, very cool. We love to support small businesses, family-owned. All right, next we have some more putty. This is from Enablers Outpost. This one's been sitting for quite a while as well. So let's... Ugh. Ooh, fruit snacks. What? So I have my little invoice. It says thank you. Is there anything in here? Okay, so these are the directions for their putty which Enablers Outpost has named Chit, C-H-I-T, which I believe is Romanian. Yes, it's the Romanian word for putty. So that's kind of neat. And I picked up three cents. Now these were new when I picked them up. We also have some fruit snacks, um, but that has been a few weeks at this point. So we have Siren Song, which again, I had been hoping to use for Mermaids and Magic, but that didn't happen. Ooh, that smells good. This smells like something. Like as soon as I sniffed it, sniffed it. <laughs> as soon as I gave it a sniff, I was like, that smells like, but I can't place it. it smells very good. This one is smells like you need a vacation. Me, definitely me. Let's see. Oh my gosh. Yes, this smells like suntan lotion oh it smells so good love that one can you tell i'm like in i'm starting to get into summery things i'm so ready it's officially spring at this point so that's cool and this one is beach Ooh, it smells like a candle from like yankee candle or something that smells so good i really enjoy um this product as well like i said before i'm a big putty person so um i enjoy trying the different ones that are out on the market and i do really enjoy this one as well okay last package that's diamond painting related that i have to share with you guys is from painting with pities uh, brie has opened her own etsy shop if you saw my video a couple weeks ago i gave you guys a little bit of a sneak peek of what um, she would be offering and she is officially open she is open for business and on release day this is more than i ordered what is happening <laughs> i ordered a minder yes this is more than i ordered three i ordered one thing she's so cute I'm gonna link Bree's channel down below and her Etsy shop. Definitely go check her out. Um, I think I'm posting this on Wednesday. So on Sunday, I believe she had a restock. Uh, so make sure you have her shop favorited so you get notifications on when she's restocking. Um, I'm super excited. I'm filming this on Saturday. So I'm very excited to see what she has um, coming out on Sunday. I heard talk of a, that's so cute. Um, what's the word? Uh, astrological, you know, like astrological signs. I feel so stupid. <laughs> this is why I can't take time off of filming because this is the first vi video I filmed in like two weeks. And I think I've just forgotten how to speak. So Zodiac, it's Zodiac. She, I think is releasing Zodiac signs, which I'm a Sagittarius. I'm going to need to get me one of those. So we have some stickers. This is her logo. And this one says, <laughs> my cat, meow, me, I would die for you. 100% accurate. I need to find somewhere to put that. Okay, so I ordered one minder and I have three things here. So let's see what we have. Oh, I got a new, I got a new candle moon thing. Yay, I got a purple one. <laughs> In my preview of her shop, I showed you guys the yellow one right here so now I have a purple one 
I told Brie that I was going to be collecting every color so that I could coordinate. You guys know I like to coordinate my accessories. So <laughs> thank you, Brie. Okay, this is what I ordered and this is so gorgeous. This minder is called Boho Sky and I ordered it in the opal colorway. Look at that. So Brie's minders are made out of clay. She hand makes them. Isn't that just so beautiful? Look at the shimmer. Oh, I love it. As soon as I saw her, were we in her? Yeah, I think it was her anniversary live. She opened her shop for a very limited amount of time and she previewed this one and I was like, yep, that's mine. <laughs> she has many colorways as well. So if you just check the drop down on the listing, you'll see what other colors that she offers. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Okay, I did know this was coming because she, um, we were talking about this. So myself, Brie, and Lexi, um, we religiously watched the Alec Murdaugh trial <laughs> with uh, Emily D. Baker, who's a lawyer commentator here on YouTube. And this saying is something that one of Alec's friends said on the stand that Alex said to him and we were all like what <laughs> so here we are we have a minder <laughs> that's so funny I love it and it matches my look at that matchy matchy we love to see it thank you Brie I love them all and you'll probably be seeing another order from me tomorrow <laughs> okay so those are my diamond painting items now before I switch over to non-diamond painting rela related things, let's do a keyword. So for this sample set from Excuse Me Designs, let's use the word, hmm. Ah, I'm so bad at this. <laughs> um, do we think that we can use the word sample? I don't know. Figure it out. Use the word sample in a sentence. You can't just use the word sample. Uh, you have to use it in a complete sentence. And then I will pull a comment in next week's whip and chat. So today's Wednesday. So next Monday, I'll pull a comment and we'll see who wins this free little sample size from Excuse Me Designs. So again, keyword sample. I don't know how you're going to make it work. I don't have to do it, so <laughs> let's figure it out. All right, so those are the diamond painting goodies that I have. Uh, let me just move everything up a little bit, and then we will do my non-diamond painting things. Just a couple of things, um, just a few little packages here. Let's start with this one. So this package comes from an Etsy shop called Simplicity Minimalist. Um, I'll have all of these shops, diamond painting and non-diamond painting shops, linked down below. Um, I, you guys know, love to read. <laughs> so I'm always on the lookout for some bookmarks. And I just love little bookish type things. So I found this shop and I picked up two bookmarks. And I love them. So the first one, these are just wood and it's, what's the word? Not embossed because it's wood. Like, like the wood burning, I guess. So this is the flower for my birth month, which is November. So this is a chrysanthemum. And then it has my name. Just simple wood with a little black tassel up here. I love it. And then this one is my zodiac sign, my astrological sign, which is Sagittarius. So you have the constellation and then you have the little symbol here. And again, it has my name. So cute. I'm like, I'm a proud November baby. I don't know why. I love that my birthday's in November. A lot of people don't like it because it's so close to Christmas. My birthday is November 25th, so it's exactly one month before Christmas. And I feel like when I was younger, maybe I didn't love it so much, but I don't know. I like being a November baby. Okay, next up is from a shop called Loving. L-O-V-V-I-N-G. These are bookmarks again. But I looked at these already, but can we talk about this packaging? It's so cute. 
and I got some stickers. Lots of, of stickers and pretty things. We have a note on like recycled paper. And one of these eco-friendly that, you know, we package using eco-friendly materials. Okay, so the first thing I have is a magnetic bookmark. I just thought this one was pretty. It's kind of witchy vibes, I guess. Got some books with some greenery. I just thought it was really pretty. But these are the bookmarks that I was like, oh, I need to share these because these are absolutely gorgeous. Generally, I don't go for like fancy bookmarks necessarily. I have a lot of magnetic bookmarks and I like those corner bookmarks that I showed you guys how to make during December with just like paper. But I found these and I thought that they were absolutely gorgeous. So I don't have a packing slip, I don't think. So I can't give you the exact name of these, but I will link the shop down below. I love them. So we have this one. I should have brought a book in. Do I have a book in here? Let me go grab a book. Book acquired. This is my current read, A Court of Silver Flames, and I'm over halfway. All right, so these type of bookmarks with like the shepherd's hook and then isn't that so pretty i love it they just hang over the side of your book i think it's so pretty this one was like celestial something isn't that so pretty though oh, i love it how many times have i said oh i love it <laughs> in this video we have this one with the little like opal heart. I'll show you on the book just because I want to see it on the book. Look at that. Oh, I love it. People are so talented. I I don't know. I don't know. Are these difficult to make? Probably not, but I feel like I wouldn't be able to do it. So thank you to those of you that do these things. And then this one has a little flower at the end look at that it's so cute I love it so that is from loving l-o-v-v-i-n-g I will link their shop down below as well and what else do we have I think I have one more package I do and this is from the shop called madly personal And the first thing I have is one of these wire bookmarks. Uh, so you can just put in their description or what is it? Letter or note to seller or however it's worded, what you want it to say. So I got it to say my name and you can also pick the design at the end. So I picked the heart. And then the little heart just sticks up. Isn't that so cute? It felt unique to me. I don't know. I felt like it was something I wouldn't be able to find in a store. And that's what I love about Etsy. I will say that the wire is pretty, I don't know, is malleable the right word? Um, so it will kind of move around. Not crazy about the top of my L, but I'm sure that that's just how uh, it was easiest for them to design it, but super cute. I love that. I got it in the rose gold, of course. And then I picked up this little keychain. Let me in, let me in. So cute. And it is a little keychain for my kitty cat Neville, who we lost in October. So it has a little there we go so we have a little n with a little paw print and this is october's birthstone neville was born in october he actually passed away the day before his seventh birthday which is just traumatic and then I, I got this little extra charm of a wing so i got these for my keys i don't normally go crazy with keychains but my car you don't have to put your key in the ignition it's one of the like push button start things so I'm not too worried about it being like too heavy. I don't know. That was like ingrained in my head when I was younger. 
let me know if the same for you but my parents were like you can't have too many keychains on your key because it'll pull whatever I don't know if it's true or not or if they were just messing with me but <laughs> it's kind of stuck with me this whole time so now that I have a key that doesn't have to go in the ignition I'm like I want a keychain so I got this one and I actually got one other thing from this shop which is not on the original chain I actually can't find the chain that it came on because it annoyed me so much so the chain it came on was one of those like ball chains where you have to put the little ball in that tiny sliver of like metal chain I don't know if that makes sense I could not for the life of me get it on one day and I actually lost the part of the necklace <laughs> so I found it obviously because I have it to share with you guys but I have put it on to a different chain now this chain came with a different necklace which is also on here I decided to wear all three pieces together so this item is from a different shop I've had this this is actually from a shop called Memorial Memorial Silver I believe and this has not to be weird I hope this doesn't weird any of you guys out but I actually sent um, a small amount of Neville's ashes and they're mixed into this charm here so I picked the gray because he was a gray cat and then he had a little white patch so I did the gray and white option highly 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 recommend this shop if you are looking to do something similar um the person who owns it is actually a pet chaplain um was absolutely amazing to work with and like the care that went into this item um highly recommend I know it's not for everyone but my cat <laughs> not to like go super deep but Neville was my baby so um it is something that I wanted my six my sister actually helped me purchase it she wanted to give me money towards it because it's not really a cheap thing to do um but yes yeah, so this is I didn't just buy this I've had this I wear it every day um the item that I did buy and added to this chain is this one here. So again, this is from this same shop um, that I got the keychain and that other bookmark from. Uh, this is just a little charm that's wire wrapped and you can choose the type of beads that you want on it. So they're kind of marketed more towards um, a necklace that you use to like celebrate a rainbow baby or like all of your children. I however chose to do just two white ones which are for angel babies. Um, if you guys have been around my channel for a while you know I have um, two angel babies. So I have the two white and then there's a little wing. So now I have all of my babies together <laughs> on one chain. So that's that. So the only item that I actually got from this particular store I'm talking about are, is this necklace on a different chain though so but I don't really like having too many necklaces on at the same time so I was trying to find a different chain I was thinking about just ordering a new one for this piece but then I was like hmm I wonder if I could wear them together and then I could have all of the necklaces on one chain and I think they they go together fine so that's that. So those are all my items. <laughs> um, kind of a mish, mishmash. Um, if you're interested in potentially receiving this little sample pack of putty from Excuse Me Designs, make sure you use the word sample in a sentence. Um, and then I will pull a winner in next week's whip and chat or kitten chat, whatever Monday's video ends up being. So Monday, oh, you know what, Monday. I think Monday is actually going to be my month in review. Let's see, let's take a look at a calendar. Um, Monday. Monday is yeah so Monday will be the third which will be my month in review 
So what we'll do is we will do next Wednesday, which will be April 5th, will be my monthly kit down. So that'll give you guys a full week to enter if you would like to. So next Wednesday, April 5th, I will pull a winner for this pack of sample putties from Excuse Me Designs. So again, use the word sample in a comment. Make sure it's in an actual sentence and not just leaving the word sample. I won't pull uh, I won't use that. I, I want people to actually have to listen <laughs> to find the word. So thank you guys so much for watching today's small shop haul. Let me know if you're interested or still interested in seeing non-diamond painting related items. Um, do you mind if they're mixed into one video? Would you prefer that I do like one video with all my diamond painting stuff and one video with non-diamond painting related things? Let me know your thoughts. Your opinion matters to me. Um, so thank you guys so much for hanging out today. Let me know if you have any questions about any of these shops down below, and I will see you in Friday's video. Bye.